Hello, everyone. Kenneth Young from the Melrose Park campus for Lincoln College of Technology. Today, we're going to talk about icebreakers. Hey, what does a polar bear and a teacher have in common? Well, they both know how to break the ice in order to survive. And so today's topic is icebreakers. As far as I'm concerned, there's two types of icebreakers. There's the icebreaker that you have on the very first day of class where you, as the instructor, are going to lead the example. You're going to show the students how to break the ice by saying something personal about yourself. You're trying to bring the students into a socialized community, especially if you're working online. And we want to make the students feel comfortable. And one of the best ways to do that is to say something personal about yourself. And it could be pictures. It could be a story that you tell. Whatever you use as your authentic self, and if the students can feel that, that's an icebreaker. The other type of icebreaker is what I like to do every single day, whether I'm in the classroom or if I'm teaching online. I want to do something different so that I can let the students know, hey, this is a community we're in. We're all kind of participating, and I've got something for you. Hey, guys, I have some sky in my rounds in my nine. And if I was teaching my auto suspensions class, I would leave it at that. And then the students will scuttle around trying to figure out exactly what that means. And then if one of them gets it, if they can figure out my little riddle, then they'll win some sort of prize and I'll go over to the admission department and beg for a cup or a pen or pencil, some little token of appreciation that the students have put forth some sort of effort uh, to figure out my little riddle. Hey, look, we could literally use uh, discussions in order to break the ice. And it could be, uh, what's your favorite car? What's your dream job? Do you have a favorite tool that you use? I teach on the automotive side. So, you know, us automotive guys, we're crazy about tools. Also, in a discussion, the students can submit pictures and video. Uh, you have to remember, though, these are young folks, so you have to tell them to keep it clean. But an icebreaker will make your life so much easier because it's not so formal and so tight. We can loosen up a little bit and let the students participate and create some of these icebreakers for us. Hey, you ask what the icebreaker uh, behind me is? Well, let's see. Uh, I have some sky in my rounds in my nine, so I have some air in my tires in my 98. See, isn't that interesting? And an icebreaker can be anything that you're comfortable with. And you can always make it part of your lesson. If I'm in electrical class, my students should certainly know this. E equals I times R. And then we we'll get into the discussion about Ohm's law. Hey, guys, why don't you incorporate some sort of icebreaker in your lesson plan and see how it goes for you?